Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia. If you're new here, this is the second video that I am filming today. I filmed a, another video earlier today using the Alice in Wonderland and ColourPop collection that will probably be up before this one. So I'll have it linked down below in the description box in case you missed it. But I went to get a massage and so <laughs> I have got like lotion in my hair from where, you know, they were like massaging my scalp and stuff. So you guys will have to just ignore that throughout this video. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this one. This is a MAC collection that I have not heard really anybody talking about. And I don't know why. Um, it came out and it's beautiful. It is the MAC and Richard Quinn collection. I picked up most of this collection, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and dig into this MAC box. I love MAC so much. I have a decent size MAC collection. If you guys would ever like me to do like a all MAC video, please let me know. I would love to do that showing you guys all my favorites. But anytime MAC releases a new collection, I always like have my eye on it. And I feel like there has not been any real talk about this collection right here. So this is MAC and Richard Quinn. He is a fashion designer out of London and he specializes in like materials, like different types of materials and flower patterns. So you will see that on this limited edition packaging. Now with this collection, they did do some just limited edition packaging on some of like Max classics. So the new mascara, which hold on, I have a little mini of it. It's not my favorite, but this one right here, this is the Mac stack. They have a limited edition packaging on this. They also have a limited edition uh, fix plus the original scent. They also have two lipstick shades that are not new to MAC. They have Mirror, or Mirror, however you say it, and Lady Danger. Those are in some of the limited edition packaging. And then they came out with new shades as well. So I did pick up one lipstick. It is a new shade. This is Rose Daydream. This retails for $25. I also picked up the Extra Dimension Skin Finish, which is one of these um i think it's this one actually but this retails for 44 dollars. i also picked up a blush duo which retails for 37 and then last off i picked up the eyeshadow palette of course which retails for 45 now there were a few different lipstick options i think there were three or four other shades and then they also did have some new eyeliners as well in again like four or five shades. I don't remember the price on the eyeliner but basically what I'm saying is I picked up most of the collection. I cannot wait to dig into it. So we are going to start with the eye. Now I did go ahead and prep my eyelids already. This is one that is actually newer to me. I got this on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Pretty much I only shopped like one or two days for that sale and one of the main ones was when they had these MAC paint pots on sale. So this one is Bare Study and that is what I primed my lids with thus far. I've seen people use this as like a highlighter as well. I haven't tried that personally but I have seen it and it does look beautiful. So you can use these for many different reasons. I have also seen people take one that is similar to their skin tone. This one is essentially like my skin tone color, but um, like if they have makeup wear off on certain parts of their face, they will use this to kind of put down as like a primer. So just a heads up on a few different ways that you can use these if you have any laying around. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this eyeshadow palette. And this is the packaging right here. Of course, I said this was $45. The packaging is like a silky type of a fabric and then you can feel MAC on the cover here. On the back you've got a little sticker. It does have your shade names on there. And then of course you have this sheet right here. Because it is on the sticker on the back, I'm going to go ahead and discard that. I hate it when they don't have the shade names on the palette. But like I said, this one is on the back so that's fine. This is the color story here, and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some swatches.
All right, so here are the different shades. I love this yellow right here. I think that is absolutely beautiful. This is a really nice blue right here as well. I think those two are like the standouts. And I just want to say again, how freaking cute is this packaging? Like, look at the little polka dots everywhere. You have a mirror in here. This is magnetic. Again, the fabric packaging that is translated on the back as well. Ugh. I am telling you what, Mac knows how to get me. All right, I'm going to pull you guys in a little bit closer. The first shade that I'm going to go in with is this one right here. This is called Fairy Fiasco, and I'm going to go in with that all over the lid. Next up, I'm going to go in with Sultry Sunset, which is this shade right here. Both of these do have a little bit of a sheen to them. Those are kind of more of like a satin type of a finish. And I'm just going to put that shade in the crease. This would be a shade that would be good all over the lid with that black just kind of smudged out on the lash line. And then popping this really bright shade on the inner corner. I think that would be absolutely beautiful and a really great like everyday look you could do with this palette. All right, so that gives us just a little bit of definition there. Then I'm going to take this shade right here, which is the Shimmering Purple. This is called Gleam Queen, and I'm going to put that right on top of that purple we have laid down. And then with a little smudger brush, I'm going to go into that deepest shade in the palette right here, which is called Dusk Diva. All right, I'm going to take my tiny, tiny little crease brush here, and I'm going to go back into this shade, Sultry Sunset, and I'm going to just concentrate that again right in that crease. I think this is such a perfect crease shade for this palette. Oh my gosh. Right, I am going to leave this here. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back for the rest of this collection. All right, guys, so this is what the eyes are looking like, and I'll run you through what I did on the lower lash line really quickly. So I just put this purple all over the lower lash line. I put a little bit of this deepest, darkest black just on the very outer third over here just to give my eye a little bit of lift. I took a little bit of this yellow, and I did put that right here on the inner third of the lower lash line. I popped this bright white shade on the inner corners. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera, but it almost has a little bit of like a greenish shift to it. This is actually a very interesting color. I do have that on underneath the brows as well, very, very lightly. And there, I just feel like it looks really bright. But when it's really concentrated, I feel like you can definitely see a bit of like a greenish blue type of a shift. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on. Next up in the collection is the blush duo. So again, this is the packaging for the blush here. And then this is what the actual component looks like itself. Absolutely beautiful. You have got, again, like a shiny black um, on the packaging. It's magnetic. Again, you have got the polka dots in here. And as you can tell, this is a split pan blush. Now, what I have been seeing a lot of people do is use this kind of like a bronzer and then either using just this as a blush or swirling the two together and doing that as a blush. So I think that is what I'm going to try out today. Now, this is what the two different shades look like here. So that is like a nice neutrally type of a brown. And then you've got this cooler type of a pink. 
All right, so I'm just gonna take my bronzer brush I've been using and concentrate this just on this top half here. And then go in and see if I can kind of give my cheeks a little bit of definition. Not like a preferred bronzing color to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on this cheek over here. So this was really people just trying to make this like a face palette. This to me is like a blush palette though. I mean, you could probably swirl these two together and it would be more of like a, like the Bare Minerals like bronzer, kind of like a nice warm type of a blush and bronzer kind of thing in one. But yeah, I don't really like this that much as a bronzer only type of shade because it's got so much uh, pink in it. But yeah, I am just gonna go with it. But yes, as you can tell in a pinch, you could definitely use this and I don't think it's gonna look bad. I just prefer some of my other products over this, of course. All right, now typically I would go in with my highlighter next. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this highlighter here. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Day Glow. And again, with the blushes as well as um, the highlighter here, these are all new shades. So first off, look at that embossing in the pan. Again, you have got the polka dots on there. This is supposed to be a highly metallic type of a finish. This is a little bit dark, I would say. If you are lighter than me, I don't know, you know, how you would get along with this. All right, it's almost a shame <laughs> to use this. It's so pretty, but I am going to. I love MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. As you know, with the Selena one, I bought backups and some of that stuff. Her highlighter was one of my favorite things. It's actually got a good bit of use. When I started seeing use on the embossment on that one, I kind of put it away because I was like, I don't want to ruin it. Um, but yeah, their highlighters, that is one thing from MAC that I absolutely love. It just becomes one with your skin and they look so freaking pretty. If you have never tried a MAC highlighter, highly, highly recommend. I feel like you can never add too much either. It just looks so freaking pretty and smooth. I'm gonna put a little bit up here and then I'm gonna call it quits or else I will just keep going. So again, I'm just kind of blending over everything one more time. All right. So now for the blush, I'm gonna take a big blush brush. I think this is too small really to kind of use on its own. I mean, I guess you could. Here, I'll try to do one side with just the pink. Ooh, that is pigmented. All right, and then on the other, I will kind of swirl it. And then, yeah, it just looks a little bit more bronzy. I will kind of focus a little bit more on the pink over here just to kind of even it out. All right, so there you go. I, as you guys know, I am a huge MAC blush fan. I have got so many MAC blushes. They are some of my favorites. I use them daily. I pull them out all the time. So yeah, it doesn't surprise me at all that I love this blush. <laughs> All right, guys, and then last up is this lipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips really quick. This is the Makeup Revolution and Clueless collection in the shade Tie, one of my favorite lip liners. 
And next up, I'm going to go in with this lipstick again with the packaging. MAC kills it with their collections. This one, if I didn't mention, this is in the shade Rose Daydream. And look at this packaging. It's so beautiful. How... Mm. How special is this pulling it out? Oh, and then on the top, you've got a little R for Richard Quinn with a little flower. Again, just adorable. <laughs> and then you have got the polka dots. Again, it says Mac X Richard Quinn right there. And then this is the shade that I went for. It's the one that I thought I would use the most. And that's what's the most important to me. I don't care if I have multiple shades like this. These are the colors that I go for daily. So that is what I want. I want to be using my makeup collection and mm, MAC matte lipsticks. If you have not tried them, highly recommend. Again, one of the things MAC is the most famous for is their lipsticks. They've got an iconic vanilla scent, very light, nothing too overpowering, but their matte lipsticks are not like drying they feel moisturizing they feel pillowy light like not it's not a heavy lipstick again it feels just like a cloud on your lips doesn't look nasty or like crusty throughout the day wears off very nicely hangs around for quite a while and yeah, this is that shade there. I'll also give you a little hand swatch. There is the lipstick shade. I've kind of wiped a little bit of those blush and highlighter shades off, but that is the lipstick shade there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and then we'll be back for the final thoughts on my first impressions. <laughs> All right, so this is the final makeup look here. I am really happy with it. Let's go through these products. All right, so first off, I think the thing I will get the most use out of is probably the highlighter. I love this type of like dewy glow. It's undetectable, but it just looks like wet and plump. That is my favorite type of highlighter. And that is what these extra dimension skin finishes give. As long as you can find like a tone or a color that fits well with your skin tone, they're all fantastic. I haven't found one that I don't like yet. And I love this packaging. Also, the embossment on this is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. It is a little pricey, $44, but are you ever going to go through this? If you like it and you're going to use it, then I think it's worth the money. All right, next up is the Blush Duo. I love this as well. Um, you can use this as like a contouring type of a shade if you're in a pinch. Otherwise, I wouldn't. I would just use this as a blush or like a bronzer, as I mentioned. Um, but this is really this pink just kind of concentrated as a blush shade and then I did use this more like neutral rosy bronze type of shade to kind of sculpt out my face. So I mean it does work. You can do like a full face with just these two products but I will probably more so be using this as like a blush duo type of a deal. All right, probably my next favorite and thing that I will use the most often is this lipstick. I love this packaging. It actually feels really weighted and nice. It's absolutely beautiful and I love this cool pink shade. I think I will get a ton of use out of this and again, very unique to my collection as far as the packaging goes as well. Now, this eyeshadow palette it's okay. I mean, I do really like the look that I came out with. This is exactly what I was going for and it worked out beautifully. Super easy to use. Um, I will say that this shade right here was a little bit drier than any of the other shades that I used in this palette. 
Um, I would definitely recommend doing your eyes first with this one, but these shades, as you saw when I swatched them, they're not intimidating. I feel like this is a pastel palette that is easy to use that you can build up. And again, with MAC eyeshadows in general, I feel like they don't always swatch the best, but they're so easy to use and build up and really get the color and the intensity and the look that you're going for. That is why I still love MAC to this day. So this is, I probably will use the least out of the things that I got, but as you guys know, I, again, I love me some MAC products. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm going to have a ton of videos coming out and I will catch you on my next one. Bye guys.